Hey there, Paul Halliday here for Learn Ionic 2. And today we're going to be adding SMS to an Ionic 2 application. I've gone ahead and made my own blank Ionic 2 app named My SMS by using Ionic Start My SMS blank v2. Once you've done that, we'll need to add the Cordova SMS plugin by simply typing Ionic plugin add Cordova SMS plugin. We can now open up in VS Code and start coding. I'm going to build out the UI first, so I'm going to run Ionic Serve. Cool, so we've got our app running in the browser. Let's go over to the home component in source home HTML, and we're going to simply change the title to my SMS application. We're going to change the navbar color to primary, which is blue. As we can see there, I'm then going to add a card with a couple of fields inside. Then what we need is a button at the end of that. Inside the button, I'm going to put an ion icon. And that icon is simply just going to be a check mark. And we're going to say send. Here's a preview of what it looks like. We can add a phone number into an input here and a message like this. Cool. Let's go to the home component now. But before we do that, I'm going to go to my TS config and I'm going to change the target from ES5 to ES6. This is because we're going to be using something called await and async. So let's make an async function. The async function is going to be called send text message. And of course, it's just going to be for sending a text message. To do this, we'll need to import the SMS class from the Ionic native library. And we can do this by typing sms.send. Requires a phone number and a string. At the moment, we'll just simply put a random number and a message. When this is done, it resolves a promise. Now, a standard way to resolve the promise, and you can do it like this if you want, instead of using async, is to simply get the result and log the result. Or you can do whatever you want with it. If you want to display a message, now would be a good time to do that. Uh, alternatively, you can then, or so, rather, as well as, you can use catch to get the error, if there is one. And we can console log out the error. I'm going to do it a little bit differently, though. I'm going to use the await keywords. Now, this is sort of does exactly the same as what we just saw there. It resolves the promise, but everything after the await keyword will only be run once that promise is resolved. So I'll give you an example of that. So if we run sms.send, uh, then we'll need the phone number again and a message. Nothing will be run until that is actually resolved. So we can then say console.log was sent. But how do we, of course, check to see whether that was an error, an error? Well, we simply put it in a try catch block like that. Now, it'll only work if the promise was resolved and not rejected. If it was rejected, if there was an error, we can catch it here. So I'm going to make a toast controller, add a toast controller to the project. And then I'm going to show a little message when it's successfully or unsuccessfully sent. We'll just do a const toast, and we're going to do this dot toast controller dot create. Simply going to show a message which says text was sent, duration of which is going to be three seconds. We can then present the toast like that. Now this toast will not present unless the text message was actually sent. And we're going to copy paste this into the error, <laughs> not twice. Uh, and we're going to say text message was not sent. Uh, so basically, now we can check to see whether it was sent, whether it wasn't. And if it wasn't, then obviously it will show a message. We need to hook this up now to an object. So I'm going to basically say text 
message, and that needs to be a string. And then I'm going to say phone number is going to be a number. We can change the phone number to be a tell type input. And what we can then change in our SMS is we can simply put the string phone number, string this dot phone number, sorry. And then we can change that for this dot text message. Now we need to hook this up to our model our view rather. So we can add ng model and we can simply put phone number in here. And here we can do the same for message. I think that's what we called it, is that right? Uh, phone number and text message, All right? Phone number, text message. Final thing we need to do is hook up the button here to a click event and the click event will be send text message. If we've done everything right and run this on the device, it should, of course, send a text message to the number that you said in the view. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you want more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel and check out learnionic2.com.